people tried to film this video simply because the lighting in the first one was so bad um, that it was just nothing was focusing <clears throat> so uh, I thought today I would do um, like a pop last couple of month and a half pop haul uh, I'm not going to show you my whole collection because I sh I've shown that twice now so some of these pops would have been seen three times I'm just going to try and remember which ones I bought um, in the last sort of month or so so starting off is Hulkbuster I got him in the Collector's Corpse, the first one, because when we bought the Secret Wars, we were able to get the um, Avengers one as well, even though we missed out on it <clears throat> when it came out. So yeah, I've got Hulkbuster. Got my Mopies from um, Luke Crate this month. Why is this not focusing properly? I've got a decent camera, so I don't know why I'm filming this on my phone. I think it's laziness, because I can upload from my phone. Um, so yeah, there's my Deadpool Mopies. Then I've got Black Widow. Ultron and Vision and that is, I've now have the complete set if only I could get the glare to go away complete set of Ultrons and then I've got Rocket with Potted Groot it's one of my only exclusives I got that from Forbidden Planet for like 14 99 I did see them on eBay for about £30 but I managed to get him on um, on Forbidden Planet that's Forbidden Planet International, so .co.uk, not .com, because .com is ridiculously expensive. So, yeah, so that's that one. Now I'm going to do, because as I think I said in my previous videos, these are spread everywhere in this house. I'm going to have to pop you on pause, climb down from where I've climbed up to, um, to show you the next one. So, yeah. Right, so my next shelf, I have got all the new, um, all of the How to Train Your Dragon 2 dragons. So I've got Stormfly. Hookfang, Toothless, and Bath and Belch. They're so cute. I love them so much. Especially, I don't know if you can see him very well. You can't because of the glare. Especially Toothless. Toothless is absolutely adorable. Um, and he's one that really, I mean, if I was, in some ways, I wish I was an out of the box collector because he doesn't look, really look anything. He looks like a black with big eyes in his box. But you take him out, he's got his um, bridle on, he's got his little red. Um, sort of fit on his tail he's so cute but they're all so cute out of the boxes but um, I just don't like to take them out A because uh, I think they'll easily get damaged if they got knocked and B because they're just dust collectors and obviously C because if I ever did want to sell them they're worth far more in their boxes so yeah there's those and then I've got oh, my metals I've got Choco Cat I had to get Choco Cat from Australia because this country, I was looking at him and he was about £20, £30. Pounds. I think I got him for 12 from Australia. Took a while to come, but um, yeah, I got him from Pop Culture. Who I've heard a lot of complaints about, but I thought they were really good. And I'd love to collect this whole Sanio set, but they're just too expensive. Too, too expensive. I was lucky with him, but the rest is too expensive. So, moving down to my next shelf. I've got, I have to put it at a funny angle to get to these ones. I've got the Secret Wars Female Thor. And the Miles Morales, is it? Spider-Man? I was kind of tempted to sell him, sort of sell him for about £20, £30, um, or whatever they're going rate on eBay, and get a different pop. But the fact that they're a collection, I think I'll, I think I'll keep them. They're not so fond of this one, but I think I'll keep him. So then we've got the Domo, set of the Domo Ghostbusters. So we've got Domo Ghostbuster, Stay Domo, and Domo Slimer. Then my partner's got Wolfman. Now this, these are quite cool. These came from a seller in the States. Um, and basically we paid something like, I think we paid about less than a pound for them all with 6 99 postage. Okay, it took a little bit of a time to get here, but really cheap, really, really cheap. And then got some turtles. So I bought Donatello recently. In fact, yesterday I bought Donatello and Raphael. I already had Michelangelo, but I've seen, I really wanted to collect the whole collection. I kick myself now that I bought Michelangelo and I didn't buy the others. Because they were obviously in Forbidden Planet for nine ninety nine, Forbidden Planet, um, dot com, <laughs> not international, <laughs> for for nine ninety nine. And now, because I've left it so long, you can't get them in Forbidden Planet. And I've had to pay. I think I paid. I paid twelve ninety nine for both of them. I only paid ten for Mikey. Um, but then Donny and Raphael cost me twelve ninety nine. And this one came from this one came from HMV. And this one came from a shop in Cambridge called Gifted. Um, so yeah, a bit a bit upset that I left it and I've had to pay more money, but. Uh, just Leonardo to go and then I'll probably try and get April O'Neil, Splinter, Shredder and all the rest of it but um, yeah I got those two 
again. I've got to put you on pause. I've got to move somewhere else. Right. So next, I'm probably filming this at really the wrong time in, in England at the moment because it's not light enough to film this without a light on. It's not dark enough really for the light to take effect. So the glare is terrible. The lighting's terrible. But um, anyway, the next one is The Meme Machine with Muttley. I know there's no special edition of The Meme Machine with Dick Dastardly, but um, I got the one with Muttley. I got him off eBay. It was an auction. I think I paid something like £17, which for a ride is an amazing price. So pleased with that. Um, then who else have we got? We've got King John. And I have actually got Scar coming from the States um, along with um, Robin Hood who's coming off Amazon. It's supposed to be Amazon Prime, it's supposed to be here Friday. Alas, it's Monday, I'm still waiting. Um, did moan to them today and apparently he will be here tomorrow. Then we've got King Louis, which again came from the seller in the States. We paid less than a pound and then 6 99 postage. And then one ooh, rainbow bright pet. <laughs> and then one I can't remember if I showed in my last video is Minnie Mouse. And I have to just show you this. My partner went um, up in his mum and dad's loft at the weekend. Uh, I think it's one of his sisters, but I have stolen it. And he found a load of toys in there. It did need washing because it did smell quite bad because it had a water leak. But we <laughs> washed it up and she's she's just beautiful. I can't remember what this one's called, but it's a rainbow bright pet from like the 80s. He wants to give it back to his sister, but I'm sure she doesn't remember she's got it. So it might end up being mine. So yeah, I had to just show you that because she's just so cute. Uh, and then, obviously, with the Age of Ultron box, we also got the Dorbs. So that's him, the Ultron Dorbs, the smiling Ultron Dorbs. So then moving down past my graphic novels. Um, I'm not sure what's new on this shelf. Uh, I think Forbidden Planet, Robbie the Robot. I think he's new from the last one. Oh, and General Ursus. That's one of my partners. Um, unfortunately, that came with a really badly damaged box. It was this on eBay with a slight damaged box. Um, but when it turned up, it was it was ridiculously damaged. Um, chap did refund us about half the price. I think we only ended up paying about a fiver for it. But yeah, still disappointing. Then Black Canary, which came in my last month's pop in a box. And moving up, Blue Batman. Kind of tempted to sell maybe one of these Batmans. I don't, I've got three different colours. I bought these, the pink one and the purple one off eBay for about £20 a little while ago. And then I got the blue one in Pop in a Box and really meant to thumbs him down because I didn't really want another bat. I want a classic Batman rather than just the coloured one. So I'm tempted maybe, but I'm not very good at selling my pops. <laughs> and then moving down here, we've got the Stormtrooper. My partner picked that up a little while ago from the Disney store. And then Jabba. And then I've got C-3PO. And this, I'll move this out so I can get this easily. It's a C. It's a new, the new film with the red arm. Got this in the Disney store. Apparently, it's an underground toys exclusive, and you can see how bobbly his head is. Um, but it was only nine pounds ninety-five, so it was an absolute bargain. I hate to think what this video is going to look like when it comes comes to uploading it, because I keep twisting this around in all kinds of angles. And then I've got the metallic Harley Quinn, the Harley, my metallic Harley Quinn with um, gun. So that's, I think, is all the new ones for in here. I will need to put some pause and go in the bedroom now because that is where the next lot are. And then coming into the bedroom, again, um, all for lighting. Probably worse in here. I've got the 6-inch Baymax. Uh, yeah, 6-inch Baymax. He came from the Disney store. Uh, 12 95 so he was such a bargain. Real bargain. Um, then we've got Woodstock and Snoopy, which are just plain adorable. Uh, another Comic-Con exclusive, which is Cheesy Dibble Skipper. Kowalski had Rico for a while and then got private to finish the collection or finish the penguin collection just need to get short fuse in the penguins of Madagascar collection then I've got Ted I think Ted's got Ted's got a beer bottle might this Ted uh, fire alarm minion and the last one which I might take down because you have to see its face because it's just too adorable is Mater from cars as in Tomato or whatever he says so so cute I'm probably going to end up collecting all the cars. Just so cute. So yeah, that is my um, pops for the last probably month and a half. Probably far too many. Spend way, way too much money on pops. Pops and comic books cost me a fortune. But there, it's a bit of fun. There's worse things I could spend my money on. Um, and hopefully it'll be a collection that in years to come will uh, be worth more than it is now. So yeah, there we go. I see it as an investment. So there we go. That is my second video for today and probably the last video I make in months because <laughs> I seem to be really bad for making them. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will speak to you soon. Bye.